Okay, so what I realize is that clip has to come off because we need to slide this up in order to get the pickup tube to get down in there. This needs to be at a little bit of an angle when we go in there. So let's see how this is going to work. I'm actually considering right now sliding it down just sideways just to line up, see what it feels like. It's probably a good idea. Let me see what it feels like to line up this shift shaft. Okay, that's lined up because when I turn it, I'm in neutral. When I go down, my prop spins. So now I know the feeling of what that's going to be like. So I'm going to go ahead and take this back up. I see I got a little oil on the surface that I cleaned just doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that off again with my brake cleaner. I want to make sure I get a good seal. But at least now I know what that feels like when it goes down inside there. So this will be a little bit tricky and it'll be probably a little tricky getting that clip back on too. So let's see. So we have to tilt this to get the pickup tube in. There we go. So I want to leave it this up a little bit because I got to get that clip in there. Now I want to check, see where I'm at with my piece. That's the angle I need to be so that that stepper is facing forward. I'm going to push this down like I did before. Okay, there we have it. So now I know I'm in place. Now let's see, where does that clip go? Okay, the clip goes down there. So I need to pull the shift shaft up a little bit. Let me get my clip ready with my pliers. Slide the clip on. I'll give you a close up of this too. Okay, so let me show you what we just did there. So once I got the shift shaft lined up, you can see our clip now is on there. We know our shift shaft is in the right spot. Now we can slide this down the rest of the way. I'm checking to make sure I didn't get any oil on where the seal meets so that we don't have any leakage. So that looks good. So now, as I said before, I want to get a good seal here. So I'm going to go ahead and let's get this in place where it needs to go. I'm going to take a little bit of WD-40 where the screw holes were. Now I don't want to fill it to the point where it comes out. I just want to get some in there as a lube when we tighten it up. Of course that one just did, so I'm going to have to clean it up again, but that's okay. That's why we do this now. We'll just wipe them all down. Then take our brake cleaner. Clean it up again so that surface is really ready. So we get a good seal. So now we're going to go ahead and slide this down the rest of the way, making sure our tube is lining up with the rubber piece. Yep, it's right in the center. Plastic piece fits right in there nicely. So now we're going to take our plate that has a gasket that goes under it. So let's get that gasket on. 
nice clean surfaces already, but I'm just going to give them a quick wipe down just to be sure. Now there is a set of holes. Notice it doesn't line up this way when I flip it over. Then all the holes line up. All right? So first way that is wrong, you can see the holes, bolt holes or anything don't line up. So now I'm just going to take a little sealer and put it on this surface so it seals up real nice. Again, just a really, really thin layer, nothing crazy. And I like to do both sides of the gasket because it's a little easier to handle when I do something like this. And I'm looking around the outside. It's really just around the outside that I need to do. Just a little thin layer. Same thing on both sides. Gets tacky pretty quick. Now we're going to make sure we line up those bolt holes. I'm going to put it right on the plate so it kind of sticks to my plate in the place it needs to be. Doesn't mean it won't fall off. Now we're ready to go ahead and slide this on. So this has two points that you can see here and here that line up perfectly and we press, that presses it down when we put the water pump in. So now we're going to go ahead and check out the water pump, uh, the impeller itself. So please like, subscribe, send me any comments that you have. I'd like to be diligent with these things. I'm also going to review my drawing again, just to double check each time I go through this. Yes, I'm a pain in the neck about doing that the right way. You don't want to miss something down the road. So what I did notice wasn't on the old one was these washers that go in between the impeller, right? Q and Q here. It's showing me in the instructions two washers. So that's why I got this kit with the new keyway. New keyway is a little bit different than the old one. The old one's plastic. The new one is metal. So I want to make sure I put those washers in there. I want to get as best water flow as I can through this motor. So let's check this out.